Hey everybody, Patrick Fransco with the latest episode of Watch Their Eyes. We have another of the Ask Eye Magnet segments uh, from the questions that have been coming in. And again, I'm trying to stay up with these because there's more and more questions coming in. But if you're not familiar with the podcast, what we do is we talk about small to medium-sized business-related marketing topics. And we also ask people to send in their questions so that we can answer them. And we call that uh, segment Ask uh, iMagnet, and this is one of those. It comes in from Tim Sanders, and it says, I've started noticing companies that are using fake addresses for Google locations so they get ranked on local searches. Is this a good strategy for web presence, or is it really dangerous to do? It seems like Google is years behind actually updating pictures of who's in a certain building, so it would be pretty simple to use a business office building or vacant building as a location, but it seems super shady. What are your thoughts on this? Uh, actually, I got several different thoughts on this. First of all, I, I feel like if you haven't verified your business with Google My Business, that is the very first step that you should do, legitimately verifying your business with Google My Business. Whether you do service out at a client's location or people come to you, it's very important that you go in and actually tell, basically tell Google, hey, I have a business, it's located here, this is what we do, here's some general information about that business. The other thing I'll, I'll get into in a minute that I think is that you should uh, create content. If you're creating content and putting it on Facebook and other platforms, you should also put it in your Google My Business in a way that is, uh, that is uh, keyword rich, in, in other words, to basically tell people what you're doing. Uh, so I would take those posts that you're putting on other platforms and also make sure you're sharing that data on your Google My Business page. That being said, back to the question, which is, should you actually utilize either fake addresses or uh, addresses that aren't real locations in order to kind of game the system with Google to get sh to show up in localized searches, specifically in that map pack section and things like that, where you're going to have the address. I would say that you don't want to utilize fake or fraudulent addresses because that could get you in trouble with Google. However, I do know people that we work with and other people that we, we uh, have an association with that do have satellite offices in different areas. Say they're in a large metropolitan area and their office is in one corner of the city, but they all actually do work in all corners of the city. But if you base it just on their address, they wouldn't show up for searches maybe in the on the other side of town. I do know situations where clients like that will have a satellite office via Regis or, or a variety of the other shared office spaces. They will actually get an office space that they have mail coming to so that they can verify that address with Google and actually take advantage of the fact that they have that localized location. So if somebody's over on that side of town searching for services, that they show up. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that if you legitimately have a location and an address, uh, whether even if it's a shared office space. I do feel like if you're just looking for abandoned buildings or just picking an address at random to try to verify, I think that that, one, you're gonna have to get through the verification process, which typically requires either a uh, postcard being mailed to that address or a variety of other ways. So you're gonna have to get through that to truly be verified, but even assuming that you could do that, I feel like um, I would just warn against, I I'm a big believer in just being open and transparent and not trying to follow that fake it till you make it or, or be something that you're not. I feel like there's a legitimate reason for putting uh, potentially satellite offices in a, in a wide area if you truly want to show up in that area and you service that area. But just to put fake addresses and things like that to try to game the system, I would stay away from that. Whether Google finds out about it or not, I just feel like it's not really the proper thing to do. And if it comes to light, it actually could, uh, you know, look very negative, you know, ha have a negative look associated with your business. So, what I would say is absolutely look at opportunities where maybe you do ser your service area is broader than what would be just uh, that would show up in a localized search with your actual main location and look for opportunities to maybe have satellite 
office presence so that you can have those verified locations. I think that could be good. I also think taking content you're already putting on other platforms and sharing it to those Google My Business pages could have a positive impact as well. But I would, I would be very wary and I would advise against doing it fraudulently or just picking locations and trying to do it in a shady way. So hopefully that answers your question. Uh, again, uh, as you guys see this and you have other questions, please go ahead and put them in the comments. We're going to get to these as quickly as we can and continue to share information. I appreciate all the positive feedback we're getting about the podcasts and I hope they're beneficial to you and uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.